Welcome everyone to part 3 of this tutorial series in which I'm showing you how to put your Star Wars The Old Republic character into Battlefront 2 as a mod. And currently, we have our Star Wars The Old Republic character uh, posed and uh, ready to get rigged to the Battlefront 2 skeleton, which is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial here. So this is the Battlefront 2 skeleton right here. We already have it from our reference human mail. We hit it earlier, but it's right here and we can actually use this just to rig it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that this guy stays in this pose when we clear his old skeleton, which is this thing right here. So what we can do is we can just go to this wrench icon, the modifiers, and just apply the armature, and then we can clear uh, clear the parent with and keep the transformation and delete the old one right there, and we're good. And then after we've applied that armature, there are a few things we need to do. Uh, this is our guy right here, this is the Battlefront 2 skeleton. You can change that to a stick thing if you go into the view for display, select octahedral to stick. So we can go ahead and hide the gun for right now. We're going to use it a little bit later. But what we want to do real quick here is we want to improve the quality of this model. Because right now, look at it, it's kind of, kind of bad. <laughs> kind of a bad quality model. So a few tips and tricks I know what to do. Uh, there are a few things I need to do to this model anyway. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go into edit mode and split everything by loose parts so that I can delete some things that I don't want. For example, these uh, bracers that are on your character, we don't need those, we can delete those. Uh, the, my character has these guns in his holsters. I don't want those. I, I want to use my own gun, my actual gun. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that weird gun right there. And I'm going to delete that weird gun right here. Is that it? Yeah. Boom. Okay, a couple more things we need to do. Let's go ahead and merge everything back together besides the main body. So we're going to like select all the gear and merge it together. You can hide that. That's the main body. Okay, so we're going to select all the gear right here. We're going to go into our vertex groups thing, object data properties. We're going to go into geometry data and normals. We need to open those two things up. We're going to clear the split normals. Right, clear split normals, auto smooth, boom. You can already see it looks a lot better. And we're going to just set the angle to, I think, like 45. And we're just going to live with that. And then we're going to look at that. And it's already a lot cleaner. Yeah? Cool. We're going to do the same thing to this uh, body, the body part. But we're going to do like a bigger angle, like 75 or something, because we don't want it to be too blocky. So now we can't actually merge these two things, but that's okay. Uh, we shouldn't really need to. Because I'm importing uh, this over Boba Fett, which has a lot of different meshes and stuff. Uh, so we can just import two meshes. But now that we've done those things, we can go ahead and rig it. So I'm going to open up this character right here. And then we're going to select our models. Both of our models. We're going to click the skeleton, parent with empty groups. And so now we need to rig it. So we're going to select Battlefront Reference Guy. We're going to select our model. And we're going to go white paint. Transfer weights, nearest face inter interpolated by name, and then we're going to go object mode, and we need to do the same thing to our little body part right here. Weight paint, transfer weights. So now in theory, this should be rigged to the Battlefront 2 skeleton, but we do need to do a little bit of cleanup. In the Battlefront 2 Battlefront modding help server that I'm in, there is some very nice resources, including these animations that I've just recently learned about. So I'm going to go ahead and import one, and that is going to let me kind of see how the character works with an animation in the game. Boom, there it is. I'm going to set that to stick real quick, because I like stick. Okay, so we're going to select both of these, and then armature to form it. And then as you can see, he's posed, which, mean he is, which means he is rigged. And then we're going to hide that. And then we can just play the animation. And then we can kind of see 
if anything is wrong with his rigging that we can fix. So it actually looks pretty decent so far. I can go ahead and look at the materials and see if anything's up. Yeah, looks good to me. Uh, I was kind of worried about maybe the backpack. Oh, yep, yeah, you see that? The backpack is like morphine when he moves his shoulders a little bit, and we want that to not happen. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and clear. Whoops. Select that. Clear that. Okay, and then we want to open back up our normal reference. Oh dear. Okay, no, we gotta delete the animation. <laughs> there we go. And then we can do this. We can put this back on Richard form. Delete the body for now. Or hide the body for now. Alright, so we're gonna go into weight paint to clean this up. So the backpack should only be rigged to the spine 2 bone. Because that is the bone right here. And, yep, looks pretty good. We're just gonna make sure that it's a little bit more solid on the outside. Okay, and then if it has any rigging on any other bone, we're just going to subtract it from it, because we don't need it. Spine 1. We don't really need any of that on spine 1, do we? Left shoulder. We really don't need left shoulder on this thing. And there's some stuff there that we did not want. Left armpit. That could be a problem. Well, we don't need that. Alright, and in theory, that should be it. One thing we should do be always before we dare to import is we need to make sure that everything is rigged. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this and go into pose mode. We're going to select the hip bone. We're going to hit G and then we can move it around. And if there are any like stray triangle and vertices that are sticking out, we just need to rig those. And that is simple. All you'd have to do in that case is just select the mesh, go into weight paint, Select the bone you want it to be rigged to, and then just click draw on the stray little vertice there. But there we go. That is it. So now we can go ahead and export these two things right here. We just need to make sure that there is a material assigned to both of them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit export, FBX, and we're going to call this uh, Robaku, because so that's the name of this. That's the name of my character, Robaku Meshi going to export it as a 0 0.01 and tangent space. Got to make sure that those things are done correctly. And there we go. So I believe the next part is uh, doing the textures. And you know, there's actually something I just realized I forgot to do. In the case of my bounty hunter, I want him to have his gun on his, on his, uh, his side because he has two guns. He's going to be using one of them, because Boba Fett can only use one gun. And I actually saved my meshes earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and import that. I only need that one. I don't need this. And all I have to do is make sure that, first of all, this... Is that like a... Come on. 90. Alright, so we're just going to line this up to the correct side. Now, he should be holding the gun on this side when we eventually get it into the game, so I'm going to put this spare blaster in this holster right here. And once that's kind of in the right spot, I'm going to need to rig it as well. So I'm just going to select this gun, select this, empty groups. And we want it to be on the same kind of bone that the holster's on. Left knee up. We could do left, uh, left up leg roll. How about that? So what we're going to do is we're going to select the gun, weight paint. We're going to find left up leg roll, 
draw. You could also, sometimes in edit mode, you can just like hit add or whatever. But for me, that doesn't always work. So this is the most like guaranteed way that it will work for me. Whoa, I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, point of view got messed up there. But there we go, that should work. Okay, so we're going to test the rigging one more time. And there's actually one more thing. We need to make sure that this gun and this body share the same texture. Body color, gun color. So I'm going to take the gun color, and I'm going to make sure that it's included in the body. And then we're just going to save the body again. Because you'll notice when I merge these two things, the textures are going to be a little messed up when I remove the texture for the gun. Yeah, we know we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the gun has the same texture as the body, first of all. So we're going to go image texture, body color. And it's a little messed up right now, but that's OK. We're going to change the scale of this to point oh, to 0.5. One and one. There we go. And then we're going to just make this smaller, so like 0.25. And we just got to get it to line up right there. Perfect. And as you can see, the gun is now there, and it's on one. It's on the same material as the rest of it, so we're just going to merge. Uh, not that, not all these things, because the body needs to be separate. We're going to merge it with the with the body. There we go. And now we can go ahead and import an animation to test. All right, so this is going to test all the new rigging things we've done. We've added the gun in, and we fixed the backpack. So let's go ahead and see for sure if those things work. Gun seems to work pretty well. So there's the backpack. It's not mor morphing with his shoulders now. And that's what we want. Cool. There we go. And then that is going to conclude this part of the tutorial. Uh, so that's going to conclude this part of the tutorial series. And in the next one, we will be doing his textures officially for Battlefront 2, and you'll see how we can do that. So, see you in the next one.